So I went on a, a long sailing trip from Fiji to Australia and it was incredible and I went to a beach in Fiji when I first got there and really expected it to be a pristine white beach but actually it was covered in plastic, it was covered in plastic bottles, plastic fenders from boats and all sorts of things which really made me sad and this started me to think about other alternatives other than bottled water that we, that we have to throw away. We've all got to drink water. We're, we're actually made of two thirds of our bodies are made of water. So we need to keep on topping that water up. So it's a good idea to drink water. And in buying bottled water, we're contributing to this massive amount of waste. If you took all the bottles that are wasted every year, it's about 150 billion a year, and laid them end to end, they go right round the world, all the way, and then another thousand times. And this is a huge amount of waste. So half of the problem that I was trying to address was how do you have a bottle that's full of water and it's large, when you're not using it, you can squeeze it up and put it in your pocket. We tried to work out how a bottle could bend up, squish in on itself, but then keep itself nice and tight. So the idea starts in your head and then your idea down on paper. We sketched it out, we looked at the ways it could work. We took some sellotape, we taped it all together and made what we thought would work. And then we made the first prototype, which is the early version. That almost worked, but then we had to work at it and work at it, and then over about a year, then we got the bottle that worked. Is so that when you're out and about, you've got very little on you. You might not have a bag, you've got uh, your keys, mobile phone, and a wallet. And we want people to be carrying an OYO bottle as well. And then when you're thirsty, you can go to a tap, you can go to a fountain, and you can get the water for free. We came about designing a product, but it's been a lot more than that. We were trying to challenge people's behavior in throwing away bottles of water and instead finding fountains. Can you think of something in your school at home where you're seeing behavior that perhaps is wasteful? And can you think of an alternative, either a product or a, just a way of doing something that might be more sustainable and more eco-friendly?